Are You Crazy Cause I Know I Am, and this is Card Fight Crazy. I'm Dewey. This is a box opening of Divine Dragon Apocrypha. Look at that. Gize has come out. Today is the release day. Oh yeah, Dust, Ultima. Uh, honestly, when it comes to this set, there's not really much that I really want to pull. I haven't really paid too much attention to the set, honestly, at all. Really looking forward to the new series. This is the second to last set of G. It is the last main set of G. The last one for us will be the Bermuda set. And then uh, we'll be done after that. Let's just get into it. Uh, pulling Gize in the Gize pack would be nice, but it's a pull. Any, uh, to pull, uh, any of the ZRs would be cool, but really I'm just looking for anything that's worth some money, because, like I said, I've not been paying attention to what has been coming out in this. It's just not been super interesting for me. Advert for GZ, for Putty X on the back, uh... Dream Girls Band Party for what's that? That there another? Oh, it's the app. Gears of Apocalypse. Ah, sweet! This is the one thing I did know about, and what I really did care. And I was happy that I got Night Rose. Just one, but it's nice to see a box topper. And this is a great way to get Night Rose and Harry into English. I forgot to grab some sleeves. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I should do that. And now I can't get this open. <laughs> Alright, I'll go grab sleeves then. And we're back. First, let's take a look at it set up. There we go. That's good enough on everything. And on to Pirate King of the Rosy Twilight Night Rose. Rose eight? I don't know. Nor do we really care. Act. Once per turn, counterblast one and choose face down card with the same card name as this unit from your G zone and turn it face up. Choose up to the number of cards in your drop zone. Or choose up to the number of cards in your drop zone as the number of face up cards in your G zone plus one. Call them to separate rear guard as hollowed, and if you call three or more, this unit gets plus one crit. Very nice. Uh, and at the beginning of your battle phase, choose one of your units for each card with Night Rose in its card name in your drop zone, and they get plus 5k until the turn. Out of the Harry versus Night Rose, the Harry, I think, is definitely better. But this Night Rose is also just really great. So simple, so effective. If you use her first stride, you're guaranteed to get at least two. If you use her first stride after G-guarding, then you get the three, so you get a crit on your first stride. The power-up can be done easily enough. And it's just a beautiful card. The hairy one's better because it can counter lock and that, but that's okay. What do we got? I oh, have yeah, one of the smaller ones. I've only done one of these. So what, 16 packs? Yeah, 16 packs. Eight on the left, eight on the right. Let's just start with the right side. Take a look. I was fighting whether or not to even record this box opening, but I know. I'd be bothered more in the future if I didn't, versus just doing it now. Advert, nope. And time for me to learn these units. Gambling Psycho Killer, grade 2, dark irregular, 8k, got darkness. And counterblast one card with the darkness ability. When this card, when this unit attack hits a vanguard, you may pay the cost if you do. Draw a card and soul charge one. Pulsar Tamer Zombilia Gear Chronicle. It's a Gearoid slash Zodiac Time Beast. During your turn, this unit gets plus 1k for each face-up Zodiac Time Beast in your bind zone. Continuous from rear guard. Uh, not Generation Break Restricted. Tinkling Angel, a Genesis Starter. Uh, it's got Forerunner and Revelation. Uh, so that's nice. You get to ride your grade 1 and then have a Revelation from your starter. That is very nice. Uh... Rear guard, once per turn, when this unit is rest due to the effect of your revelation ability of your other unit. If you have a vanguard with a revelation ability, stand this unit. That is very nice. I like Tinkling Angel. I really like revelation. 
I'm really high on Genesis right now. I want to see what they're going to do with them in the next series. And I think they're going to be one of my main clans going forward. Drag Raptor Mouth, Shadow Paladin, Grade 1, 7k, Ritual 1, and when this unit attacks with your Vanguard with original ability, this unit gets plus 4k until end of turn. Not GB restricted. Stealth Fiend, Kagus, uh, Stand Trigger for Nubatama, Rearguard, bind this unit face down, choose up to two of any fighter rearguards, and they get plus 2k until end of turn. Also not GB restricted. Drag Fencer, Dagda. Uh, grade 2, 9k for Shadow Paladin, GB1, Ritual 5, this is our first rare, Counterblast 1 and choose one of your Grade 1 or less rearguards and retire it. When the unit attacks a Vanguard, if you have Vanguard with Luardin's card name, you can pay the cost. If you do, search your deck for up to two Grade 1 cards, call them to separate rearguard, and shuffle your deck. Simple, nice. And Dark Dragon, Dark Veil Dragon, a Shadow Paladin G-Guard. Uh, Soul Blast 1, when this unit is placed on Guardian Circle, you pay the cost you do. This unit gets plus 5k until end of battle for every two grade 1 cards in your drop zone. Simple, effective, and can get a lot of shield. Nice. On to pack 2. Starting pack 2 with Stealth Dragon Ozai. Nubatama, grade 1, 7k. Rearguard, Soul Blast 1, when you're dominated a unit, attacked a Vanguard during your turn, you might pay the cost. If you do, this unit gets plus 3k until end of that battle, and if you have grade 4 Vanguard, this unit gets plus 3k until end of turn. Nice. Simple. I don't know how useful it is. I don't really pay attention to dominate. A uh, Revolting Bolt. Oh, I know this one from playing Gazzadee. When this card is put into your soul due to the effects of a card during your turn, if you're Vanguard with the Darkness ability, choose one of your units and it gets plus 4k until end of turn. It's got a rearguard GB1 darkness. Resist. Drag Raptor Mouth again. Regalia of Brewing Bennu. This is where most of the Genesis support went to the Regalias. When this unit is placed on Vanguard or Rearguard from hand, look at two cards on the top of your deck. Put one card from among them in your soul, put one card from among them in your drop zone. Regalia of Thoughts, Feeling Angel, Stand Trigger, Rear Guard, put this unit into your soul, choose one of your units, it gets plus 3k. Simple. Grade 1, 7k, Royal Paladin. If you have Vanguard with a Brave ability, this unit gets plus 1k, and resist. Huh. I notice how it's, if you have a Vanguard with a Brave ability only, whereas the, like, uh, Diane for Neonectar is if you have an Asha or a Vanguard with a Bloom. Bloom ability. It gains 1k and resist. So I wonder why they did it like that. Let's see what its other skill is. GB2, Brave during your turn. If you have Vanguard with Alt Mile in its card name, all your front row unit gets plus 2k and continuous resist. Well, that explains my question, Joey. Should just read the card on, then you can ask questions because they might be answered already. <laughs> it was. Regali of Hypnocenter, Kukurihime. Ah, Kukurihime. Put this unit in your soul. If you have Grade 3 or Grade Vanguard, choose one of your units and it gets plus 3k until in a turn. If you have a face up card in your G zone, draw a card. Critical trigger. I didn't know about this one. I like it. Simple crit. Very good thing. I like how it's an act if you move it in and you get to draw one and you get the 3k, but most importantly, it's an act. That's the best part. Uh, I like it as an act because it fills your soul, so then you can do other things with your soul. Continuing. Pulsar Tamer, EGG. Uh, once per turn, rearguard. When your other Zodiac Time Beast is placed on rearguard, other than from your hand, the shooting gains plus 2k until end of turn. A little power up. Chrono Dran Z, the new, the third Chrono Dran for Runner, of course. Bind this unit face up when your grade 2 or greater Zodiac Time Beast is placed on Vanguard. You even pay the cost to do. Look at five cards at the top of your deck. Reveal to one grade 3 or grade 1 card from among them. Put it in your hand and shuffle your deck. Great card. And bind zone, choose a card from your hand and discard it. Put this card into your hand. You can drop a 5k shield to gain a 10k shield back, or you can plan to use its skill again, so you can just keep getting more cards. Chrono Dran Z. Good card. Regalia of Brewing Bennu. Gyomi. For a second there, I thought it was going to be Gyomi. Milk in Japanese. Uh, grade 1, 7k Brave. You may pay, choose a Gyomi, Gyomi <laughs> from your rear guard and retire it as the cost for Stride. Hmm. Simple. I like it. I say simple so much when I'm talking about these cards, but that's because I, I like simplicity in my cards, and they do well. Uh, Margo Clone for Dark Irregular, Spirit Inviter. Another rare Pulsar Saber, Elisha. Elisha? Yeah, Elisha. 
Uh, G Guard Fort Gear Chronicle. Soul Blast 1. When the shooting is placed on Guardian Circle, the number of cards in your bind zone is 1 or more. You pay the cost or do until in the battle the shooting gets plus 5k. Then, if it is 5 or more, it gains 15k shield. So it's one of those 20k shield getters. Triple R Vampires the Dark Irregulars. It's the new Charrod. Okay. Look at that artwork. That is beautiful. Great card. Uh, it does kind of... No? No, this is not This is not the card that I was thinking about. That's the, uh, drop like two grade twos and gain those skills. No, no it isn't. This is the good Vanguard. There we go. When your G unit stride, you may soul charge two. If you do, choose a card with the darkness ability from your soul, put it in your hand. Choose up to one card from your hand, put it in your soul. No, you don't have to replace. You can just add a card to your hand. Don't have to put anything in. If you got enough cards in soul, which dark regulars often do, you know, but you can com combo that with, uh, with Jaeger. What's it? Were Tiger Jaeger? And so movement of soul kind of last one, draw another card. There you go. Darkness from Vanguard. At the end of your turn, choose one of your grade one or greater rear guards, put it into your soul. If you do, your opponent chooses one of your rear guards, retires it. And if the number of cards in your soul is eight or more, you may. Or no, you counter charge one. For some reason, I thought that I read you may counter charge one, but it's like, why would you choose not to counter charge one? There we go. Sharot into a triple R. I'll stick him with the Pro Minus. Let's see that. Let's do I do it like that. Oh yeah, rares down here. It's been a, it's been a while. Like I didn't uh, I didn't do a box opening for EV3 because I just didn't care enough to, about anything in there to buy it. Stealth Rogue of Vista Ayagiri. Rear guard GB1 when your dominated units attack during your turn, the shooting gets plus 5k until end of turn. Chrono Dran Z. Mm. Goddess of the Abyss Oreshkigal. I like this card. It does not work super great on CFA, but I like this card. Revelation, Vanguard or Rearguard, but that's not the important part. The important part is act from Rearguard once per turn, GB1, Soul Blast 3, which is two of your units and stand them. If you stand this unit, put one card from the bottom of your deck into your hand. So you grab the bottom card of your deck and move it into your hand. It's just nice. Drag Wizard Vikru. Or uh, It's not like a vicar, but it's a starter, forerunner, ritual three. Put this card in your soul when your other unit is charged from rear guard for the effect or cost of your card with the ritual ability, you can pay the cost you do. Kind of charge one. Stealth Fiend Kagusa, again. Accumulated Attachment Druj Nasu. If the number of cards in your soul is eight or more, the shooting gains 10k shield, and when the shooting is placed on Guardian Circle, choose one of your grade one or greater rear guards with darkness ability. You might put it in your soul. If you do, draw a card. Drawing cards in your opponent's turn is nice. We got a double R from Genesis. It's the Goddess of Mercy, Inanna. Also a great card for Revelation. I like it. Vanguard, once per turn, counterblast one, choose a face down card with the same card name as this unit from G Zone, turn it face up. Soul charge three, your opponent chooses one of yours or rear guards for each card with a revelation ability that you soul charge and retire them, and all your rear guards gain plus two K for each card in your soul with the revelation ability on GB3. So much power gain. So much power gain. I am really, really liking it. Currently, I have a Genesis Witch deck because I traded Jacob, but I am waiting for the new series and then I might pick up the Revelation. Uh, or I'll just wait for the new series if they're going to scrap it and do something new, but no idea what's going to happen with it yet. Baleful Repressor. It's because he says, why is he a common? Well, because something's got to be a common, but he's a great card. GB2, Darkness, when this unit attacks, the number of cards in your soul is 8 or more. Until in a battle, this unit gets 10k. Your opponent cannot call 0. From hand to guardian circle. So much guard restricts <laughs> in Dark Auriculars. Stealth Dragon Burai, a starter for Nubatama. Forerunner, put this unit into your soul. When your Vanguard with the Dominate ability is placed on Vanguard, you can pay the cost to do draw a card, choose a card from your opponent's drop zone. Your opponent calls that card to rear guard. The end of that turn, retire that unit. Regalia of Daylight, uh, Regalia of Dawn, Daylight Angel, a starter for Regalia. Genesis, of course. Rear guard, counterblast one, put this unit in your soul, reveal three cards on top of your deck, put up to one card from among them into your soul, put the rest in your drop zone, put a card with regalia and its card name into your soul, draw a card. Oh, if you put a card with regalia, but you will. 
uh, grade one for Genesis, another regalia of Amulets, Expel Angel. Rear guard, once per turn, choose three normal units with the Gully in its card name, and if you have a face-up card with the Gully in its card name in your G-Zone, you then draw a card. Wow, quite a mouthful. We got a reprint of Pulsar Hypnosis Sheep. Stand trigger, four gear chronicle, when this unit is placed on rear guard from hand, until in a turn this unit gets... Auto, rear guard, put this unit in your soul, choose one of your other rear guards to put on the bottom of your deck. At the end of the battle, this unit attacks a bearing, you pay the cost you do, choose one of your zodiac time beasts, rear guards, and stand it. Right? This is a reprint, right? I'm pretty sure it is. <laughs> Pulsar Bombard Hog, move it to soul, counter charge one, critical for gear chronicle, and Dark Dragon, Dark Well Dragon again. Dang, I wanted to see the Genesis one. No. But we got a reprint hand. That's okay. It's bound to be some reprints in the rares. What do we got here? Ah, we got a grade three for Gear Chronicle Pulsar Proceed Sheep. Counterblast one, bind this unit face up, draw a card, choose a card from your drop zone and bind it face up. 11k. A Stealth Dragon Enbe. Enbe. Uh, Grade 2 for Nobutsama GB1. When your other dominated unit attack during this turn, this unit gets plus 5k until end of turn. Ah, Blinking Knight Milius. A new Milius. Yeah, a brave design Milius. Uh, rear guard, put this unit into your soul. When attack hits during the battle, this unit boosted a unit with a brave ability. You can pay the cost to do. Look at 10 cards from the top of your deck. Reveal two cards with all mile from card name among them. Put one of the real cards in your hand. Put the other one into your soul. Shuffle your deck. It's a starter, of course. It's Forerunner from Royal Paladin. Drag Wizard Luchardaba. Ritual 3. During the battle, this unit boosted. This unit gets plus 3k. And... GB1, once per turn from rear guard, when you have the rear guard with the virtual ability is retired, for the effective cost of your card, you may put that retired card into your soul. Zagba, oh, look at that. A, a critical trigger with no skill for Shadow Paladin. Goddess of Karmic Wind, Ningal, from Vanguard or rear guard, it has Revelation, and from Vanguard or rear guard, if a card was put into your soul during this turn due to card effects, this unit can attack. If no card was put in there, so you do have to soul charge a card in uh, anyway, but it's a 10k grade 2, and it's like, yeah, it's got the restriction for that, but it's got revelation, so it can cancel that out. It's the new 10k grade 2 ways of doing things, but having a restriction that it can attack reminds me of the 11k grade 2s. Oh, <laughs> well now, I was not even looking. We got Chronojet Dragon Z! <laughs> okay. Chronojet Dragon Z, that's another triple R, so that's our second one. Uh, you may choose a grade 3 Zodiac Time Beast from your drop zone and bind it face up as the cost for Stride. And Vanguard Soul Charge, Soul Blast 1. When your G unit stride, you may pay the cost of you choose it to one of any player's rear guards put on the bottom of your deck. If you put one card, search your deck for up to one Zodiac Time Beast with grade plus 1, then the card that was put to the. Uh, with this effect, call it to rear guard and shuffle your deck. Note, you don't have to put your own card away to get a card. That was something that I think they were talking about before the translation got made. But no. Just if a card is put, there you go. Alright, next seven. Stealth Rogue of Vista Ayagiri. Pulsar Crash Monkey. Uh, grade 2 8k from Gear Chronicle. From Bind Zone, you Soul Blast 1 to call it to Rear Guard, and Counter Blast 1, when this card is put into your Bind Zone face up, you can pay the cost to do draw a card. Drag Wizard Vikru, Regalia of Amulets Expel Angel, Pulsar Hypnosis Sheep, Darkness Unleashed Frehit. A Stride for Dark Irregulars, Darkness, when this unit attacks, you may Soul Charge 2 if you do choose one of your units for every four cards in your soul, and they get plus 5k until the turn. If the number of cards in your soul is 13 or more, choose four cards from your soul with different grades, return them to your deck, shuffle it, this unit gains plus 5k for each card returned. And a reprint rare of Drag Wizard Morfessa. She needed a reprint, so it's good to, good to see her. Get one... Dragon Wizard Morfessa from Drop Zone. It's got GB1. This unit gets grade minus one, so it's a grade one. And GB1 on Rearguard Ritual 3. When this unit attacks a Vanguard until end of the battle, it gets plus 5k. And Counterblast 1. When this unit attack hits, you may pay the cost to use. Search your deck for up to one card 
one grade one card from your deck, call it to regard, and shuffle your deck. Well, we got the we got a reprint. That'll sit there in the middle. Uh, getting a reprint. That's just good. Uh, so no SP, I think that means. I don't know. I'm not gonna pretend to know here. Pulsar Crash Monkey again. Pulsar Proceeds. Sheep again. Knight of Connection. Pick this a grade three eleven K four. Royal Paladin. Choose a card from your and discard it when the chain is placed on Vanguard or Rearguard. You may pay the cost to do. Search your deck for up to one card with Alt Miles card name. Reveal it. If this unit is placed on Vanguard, then you ride that card as a stand on Vanguard, and if this unit is placed on Rearguard, you put that card in your hand and shuffle your deck. GB1 from Rearguard with Brave. At the beginning of your battle phase, this unit gets plus 5k until end of turn. Okay. Deemed Angel. I like this one. Revelation. And Rearguard, Counterblast 1 when this unit rests due to the effect of the Revelation of ability from your other units. If you have a Vanguard with a Revelation ability, you pay the cost of CB1 and drawing a card. Knight of Vibrancy Lirdness, a critical trigger for Royal Paladin, Brave, put this unit in your soul, choose one of your units with a Brave ability, it gets 5k until end of turn, nice that it's an act. Pulsar Saber Ilushu, and a Double R Slaptail Dragon, Shadow Paladin, I have no idea what this card is. Ritual 3, when your other grade 1 is placed on rear guard, if you have Vanguard with a Ritual ability, this uh, that placed unit and this unit get plus 3k until end of turn. Uh, nice that it's not once per turn. Decker Drop Zone, if you have grade 4 Vanguard with Luard and Scarring Name, this unit gets grade minus 1. Hmm. So it becomes a grade 1 in the deck or the drop zone, so it can be searched out or count for Ritual. The artwork is nice, and it can do a lot of power-ups. I have no idea about that card, so have to see. Next, seven, Stealth Dragon Ozai. Waxthom Vampire, Forerunner, Darkness, GB1. Counterblast 1, put this unit into your soul. Choose one of your other rear guards and retire it. Choose up to two grade one or grade cards with Darkness ability from your soul. Put them into your hands. Regalia of Poem Bragi. Uh, grade 2 for Regalia's GB1 when the chain is placed on Rearguard if you're Vanguard with Regalia in its card name. Choose two cards with Regalia in their card name from Drop Zone. Put them into your soul. Choose one of your Vanguards and that unit and this unit get plus 3k until end of turn for each card that was put. So a nice 6k boost. Drag Wizard Gaunon. Grade 2, 9k for Shadow Paladin. Counterblast 1 and choose Grade 1 card with the Ritual ability from your hand. Discard it when the chain is placed on Rearguard from your hand. You may pay the cost you do. Draw two cards. Nice. Spirit Inviter. Knight of Favorable Odds, Ashanias. Counterblast 1 and choose a card with Alt Milan's card name from your hand and reveal it when this unit is placed on rear guard from hand. You may pay the cost you do. Search your deck for up to one 7k, car, 7k power card with a Brave ability. Call it to rear guard and shuffle your deck. This is also a grade 1 with 7k. And Brave, this unit gets plus 2k. Hmm. So you can call out another one. You don't get to search another one, but you can call out another one, and then you have two 9k boosters when you have Brave. And Scent Gall. Grade one, or grade two, Royal Paladin, 9k. Auto, Soul Blast 1, choose a card with Alt Milan's card name for your hand, and reveal it. When this unit is placed on Vanguard, or placed on Rearguard from hand, you may pay the cost you do. Search your deck for up to one 7k card with the Brave ability. Call it to Rearguard and shuffle your deck, though you wouldn't be able to activate Ashanias. As stated with Ashanias' skill as well. Brave, when this unit attacks, this unit gets plus 2k until end of that battle. Oh, Septgall, that's what it name was. It was Septgall. Okay, what do we got here? Grade 3 for Dark Irregulars with 10k. It's got Vanguard, Rearguard, or Guardian Circle, GB1, and Darkness Continuous. If the number of cards in your soul is 4 or more, the chain gains plus 2k and plus 5k shield and intercept. Then if the, your Vanguard is a Darkness ability and the number of cards in your soul is 8 or more, the chain gains plus 5k shield. Huh, give me a 10k interceptor. Stealth Dragon End by Big Sword Angel. Looks like it's blocking out like Link Joker rays. Grade 1, or Grade 2, 7k, Royal Paladin, Brave, when this unit attacks, the number of cards in your hand is less than your opponent's, you can plus 5k until end of turn of that battle for each card your opponent has more than you? Oh, wow! So it gains plus 5k for each card more, so if you uh, use uh, the Power Charge, the guy who binds your whole hands, and your opponent has like 7 or 8 cards in hand, it can gain 40... Wow, it can gain so much power. 
but I, is it worth it? I don't know. Uh, running it at one or two seems likely since there's enough superior calling. Search your deck for up to 17k. Oh, snap! Search your deck! You can. Oh, God, yes. He is tutorable. That is beautiful. Recalia of Brewing, Benmu, Zagbao, Pulsar, Metal Party Dragon, Grade 2, uh, 10k, and Vanguard or Rearguard. This unit cannot attack with the number of cards in your hand. Bind Zone is 0, and GB1, Counterblast 1, and Bind this unit face up. At the end of the battle, this unit boosted. You might pay the cost if you do. Wait a minute. At the end of the battle, this unit was boosted. Sorry, you may pay the cost of you. Call up to one face up grade three and grade one zodiac time beast from your bind zone to separate rear guard. And we do get one of the heal triggers. We get it for Nubatama. That's nice. So it's one of those that when it's paid for the cost of G guarding, G guarding, G guarding. Uh, you bind it and another heal trigger and kind of charge one or soul charge one. And that's for new Thomas Stealth Fiend, Kesera Basara. Okay, next seven cards. Fershung Vampire, Stealth Beast, Mist Frog, Grade 1, 6k from Nubatama. Put this unit in your soul when your other dominated units attack during your turn. You may pay the cost to do draw a card, and that unit gets plus 6k until the end of that battle. Deemed Angel, Drag Wizard, Galnon, Knight of Vibrancy, Lirdas, and a double R Regalia of Wisdom, Angelica the Retrain. When this unit is placed on Vanguard, choose a normal unit with Regalia in its card name from your drop zone. You may put it in your soul. If you do, draw a card. And Counterblast 1, when you G unit with Regalia in its original card name stride, you may pay the cost to do. Look at four cards from the top of your deck. Put it to one card from among them in your hand. Put one card from among them into your soul. And put the rest into your drop zone. Great artwork. Fantastic card. What's there? Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, obviously, if we got the double R up top, we got the triple R behind it. So I'll replace that there. What's this? This is going to be our final triple R? And let's just flip it like this. One who hunts souls, Balaam, for dark irregular. Once per turn, counterblast one, choose face down, cover the same card name as this unit from G's and turn it face up, choose one of your opponent's rear guards, and this unit gets the power of that unit and drive plus one. Also, you retire that unit, you may soul charge two for each face up card in your G zone. You may soul charge two for each face up card in your G zone. Uh, just important to note that. GB3, darkness, uh, the number of cards in your soul is 13 or more. Your opponent cannot call grade one cards from hand to guardian circle, just at all. The whole turn restrictor, just like each Kishima. Four, pa five packs left. Okay. Next seven. Yeah, come on, you. Oh, look at that. The Cray Elemental. A uh, grade zero. When this unit is placed on Guardian Circle, your opponents of Vanguard attack two or more times during this turn. Choose one of your units, and that unit cannot be hit. White Fang Wielder, grade 1, 6k. Darkness, retire this unit, the number of cards in your soul is 20 or more. Holy. Yes, yeah, this, this is possible though. Choose one card with the Darkness ability from your soul for each different grade, return them to your deck, and shuffle it. If you return four cards, choose five of your units, and then get plus 6k until end of turn. Hmm, not bad, but not super useful. Drag Wizard, Fomunch. No, I mean, it might not be bad to have like one or two of them in the deck. Hand, discard this card and choose one of your regards with ritual ability and rest it. Then you draw a card. And ritual 5, GB2. If you have grade 4 Vanguard with Lard and its card name, this machine gains plus 7k and resist. Grade 1 with 7k, so it becomes a 14k. Uh, Gyunmi, again. Oh, Werefred Informant. Wow, look at that artwork. Stand trigger for Dark Irregulars. GB1 with Darkness, put this in your soul. If you have a Grade 4 Vanguard draw card, choose one of your rear guards, and it gains plus 3k until end of turn. Yeah, so it's along that same vein. Ultimate Regalia of Affection Air. There we go, Genesis. When this unit is placed on Guardian Circle, choose it four cards from your job zone with different card names. Put them into your soul. If you put two or more cards until end of battle, this unit gains 5k. Then if you put four cards, it gains 10k. So unfortunately, it's not a 
20k shield getter. And Succubus of Pure Love reprint. Artwork is great. Just like before, it's the uh, Shardot Searcher and the Stride Fodder. Let's see the next card. Pulsar Tamer Igigi. Were Tiger Plunderer. Uh, darkness during your turn of Vanguard with Shardot. This card in issue gains plus 1k for every card in your soul. Regalia of Activity Eon. When this unit is discarded from the hand for the cost of stride of your Vanguard with Regalia in its card name, you pay the cost. Uh, or you may put this card into your soul if you do choose one of your Vanguards and it gains plus 10k until end of turn. I was just expecting it to be pay the cost. Ah, it's a grade 3 Regalia of Activity. Huh. Another grade three, this time for Nubatama. GB1, when the, unit, when the attack of a dominated unit hits during your turn, this unit gains plus 10k until end of turn. Regalia of Thoughts, Feeling Angel. It's that stand trigger style. Regalia of Abundance, Freya. Uh, grade two, 9k. Cannabalist 1, when the unit is placed on regular, if a grade three or greater Vanguard with Regalia in its card name, you may pay the cost to do draw cards. Choose two cards with Regalia in its card name. In their card names from your drop zone, put them into your soul. And GB2, when your Vanguard with Regalia in its card name attacks, the genie gains plus 3k until end of turn. And. Gastile. There it is. Yeah, that's what I was thinking of. Evil God Bishop Gastile. Grade three. Double R. Uh, uh, pretty decent amount of dark irregulars in this one. Vanguard or rear guard. At the beginning of your ride phase, the number of cards in your soul is eight or more. Choose one of your grade three rear guards with darkness ability, and you may return it to your hands. And continuous GB2 darkness. When this card would be placed on rear guard, choose up to two grade two cards from your soul, put them into your drop zone, this unit gains all the abilities of those cards. So that's what it's talking about. It kind of does hamstring what you can do, how powerful you can make grade twos. You can gain a lot of power. You can gain guard restrict. You can become a card that can then get a uh, soul charging. Stealth Beast, Mist Frog, Revolting Bolt, Regalia of Ideals, Gen uh, of Ideas, Genil, Grade Two, Nine K. When this unit attacks a Vanguard, if you uh, you may have this unit gain Two K. If you do, at the end of the battle, you put it into your soul. And GB One, when this card and put it in your drop zone from your soul. During your turn, choose one of your rear guards with a Regalia in its card name and it gains plus 3k until end of turn. Blinking Knight Milius saw the Regalia of Offering Offer Angel. <laughs> Regalia of Offering Offer Angel. A draw trigger for Genesis. Pulsar Mary Block Dragon. Here we go over him. No, we went over the one that looks like him, that I thought was him. Deck from, or deck or drop zone, if you have a grade 3 or greater vanguard, this unit gains plus 2 grade. And GB1 from rear guard, when this unit boosts, you may have this unit get 2k until end of battle for each other zodiac time beast. If you do, bind this unit face up at the end of the battle. Regalia of Service Air. There we go, there's the Regalia. Heal trigger, which of course it being Regalia works fine in uh, Revelation as well, because Revelation doesn't require much, and there's no heal trigger with Revelation. Yeah. Seven cards. Spulsar, Spring Rabbit, Gear Chronicle, Grade 1, 6k, Soul Blast 1, GB1. Choose one of your other Zodiac Time Beast on your rear guard and bind it face up. When this card is placed on rear guard, you can pay the cost to do. Draw a card, Soul Charge 1. Stealth Dragon Bakuren from Nubatama, grade 2 with 8k. When this unit is placed on rear guard from hand, if your opponent has no cards in his or her bind zone, your opponent chooses one card from his or her hand, binds it face down, and at the end of turn, your opponent puts that card in his or her hands. Uh, eh, it's really, that is definitely not good. <laughs> Subjugate Dragon, Grade 3, Shadow Paladin, Ritual 1, when this unit is placed on Vanguard or Rearguard, if you're Vanguard with a Ritual ability, search your deck for up to one Grade 1 or less card with a Ritual ability, call this Rearguard and shuffle your deck. Drag Wizard, Luchardaba, Werewolf, Engrefeiler, Engrefer, Engrefer, there we go, Werewolf, uh, Engrefer, and Werewolf. Critical trigger from Dark Irregulars. Gotta stop just focusing too much on these. Rakuto Stealth Dragon Gondo Kuran. Or Gondo Kurakan. There we go. 
Noob Atama, when this unit is placed on Guardian Circle, the number of cards in your opponent's hand is 3 or more, until in a battle the shooting gains 5k, then if it is 6 or more, the shooting gains 10k. So not a 20k shield getter, but 15k. And Pulsar Re Revolver Draco Kid this is the Zodiac Time Beast Strike Fodder. Final pack. Final seven cards. What are we going to see? Uh, I don't expect anything. Is there supposed to be four triple R's? Or no? No, I, I think we're good. Stealth Beast Mist Frog. Pulsar Tamer Zombia. Tinkling Angel. Big Sword Angel. Werewolf Angle Fair. Holy Dragon Defend Hold Dragons. We did see the Royal Paladin G Guard Brave. During the battle of your opponent's Vanguard attack, choose one of your units with a Brave ability and it cannot be hit. Wow. You don't... Wow. If you have Brave and you have a Vanguard with Brave, you drop a heal trigger to be a PG. And the Regalia Stride Fodder. Choose a grade 3 card with Regalia and its card name from your hand and reveal it. When this unit is placed on rear guard from hand, you may pay the cost to do search your deck for up to one grade 3 card with Regalia and its card name, reveal it, put it into your hand, choose a card from your hand, discard it, shuffle your deck in hand. When you're paying the cost for Stride, the shooting game is plus 2k, or plus 2 grade. Quick rundown of the Royers. Pulsar Metal Party Dragon, Sept Gaul, Knight of Favorable Odds, Ascendias, Pulsar Saber Ilushu, Darkness Unleashed Freyhut, Regalia of Benevolent Wind Flap Angel, Holy Dragon Defend Hold Dragon, like Holy Dragon indeed, Pulsar Revolver Dragon Kid, Rakuto Stealth Dragon, Gondo Kurakan, Pulsar Mary Block Dragon, Succubus of Pure Love, Ultimate Regalia of Affection Air, Goddess of Karmic Wind Ningal, Dark Dragon Dark Veil Dragon, Accumulated Attachment, Druj Nasu, Pulsar Saver Ilushu, Regalia of Hypnocentered Kukubi Hime, Lumar Feng Knight Felux, Dark Dragon, Dark Veil Dragon again, Drag Fencer Dagda. Reprint of Drag Wizard Morfessa. Two Heal Trigger Double R's. Uh, the Regalia of Sardivus Air, and the Stealth Fiend, the Quesada Basada, Nubatama, and Genesis. And then two Genesis, and one Shadow Paladin. Uh, Slaptail Dragon, like I said, I still know nothing about that. Regalia of Wisdom, Angelica, Goddess of Mercy, Nana, and Evil God of Bishop, Gastille. The promo was Night Rose. And Chrono Jet Dragon Z, then Shardot and Balsam, or Balam for the Triple R's. Balam, the probably definitely best pull here for me is the Night Rose. I'm super happy. Fifty percent chance you get Night Rose, fifty percent chance you get Harry. <laughs> well, I hope they did it ten and ten. That's all. I'm Joey. This is Card Fight Crazy. I hope you're crazy too.